I am about to show you some video footage that many chess fans probably don't even know exists. It's a Bobby Fischer analyzing three chess games in Sarajevo, I'm guessing sometime in the late 60s or early 70s. Now, because the video and audio are not of high quality, I have added subtitles as well as a better chessboard to show the moves played in the games as well as the variations that Fisher is discussing. Please forgive some of the choppy editing where I cut out most of what the host was saying since he translated pretty much everything Fisher said into the local language. Fisher covers three games here. The first is Zuckertort versus Steinitz from 1886. Then we have the famous opera game of Paul Morphy, which includes an alternative variation that Fisher himself played in two identical games to defeat his two opponents in exactly the same way. Most of Fisher's analysis is spot on, but after the games I will show you a couple spots where Stockfish disagrees. So I think that covers pretty much everything you need to know. So without any further ado, let's have a look at this incredible historic footage. Um. Let's see, Zuckertort is white and Steinitz is uh, black. 1886. Yes. This is uh, Queen's Gambit, of course. Interesting, you know, the Trojans move, this move. Teddy. I saw this was played by Cherusek, you know, Negro, 80 years Cherusek. ago. Cherusek. Yeah. Not new. Anyway. plays a mistake already. You know, he should just play so naturally. Bailey at Fali is now trying to do one mistake. He's trying to advance on the queen side, the cramp black's position, but uh, he breaks up the pawn formation and immediately attacks. Very good move. Come on, the bird potters, be chased. Break them. Now I don't know. Maybe this was better. It's hard to say. It's also possible, but he didn't do this. He played simply. He did not go easy. Now he makes, the, I think, maybe the losing move. Uh, Super good. He played uh, to put this pawn. On he was there, so he, he wanted to keep shy. his queen side majority, but uh, he plays d5. Uh, of course, he can't take. He takes this. He must play here. But now he plays this fantastic move. Yeah, this is a winning move. He can't take with the knight because of this. Take, take, and take. Akuzme, konja na d4. So, um, very difficult to ready. Takes the same thing with the queen, take, take, and take, he's pinned, you know, take and take. When, when he, Takes uh, with the queen, uh, take and take, he's pinned uh, again. He's pinned, now. Oh, and he's pinned. Peshakon, uh, nakaze. So now he plays bishop takes knight. He was afraid to play, uh, this move because, uh, he's taking, taking, Take. Yeah, on the Uzme, turn the Uzme, Uzme. Knight c6 with initiative for black. Can I be a Knight c6. So he took it all. And now he takes with the pawn. So yeah, because if he took with the bishop, the uh, knight comes here. I uh, love him on the coin. Threatening the bishop the the pawn. Then. This is very good. So now, you think that was the only move? Yeah. No, these pawns are tremendous now. So he played knight a4. He could play here, but the knight could be driven away easily. This kingside weakness is nothing. The center is easy winning. White is decentralized, undeveloped. It's also a very, very fine move. Queen is coming here, and the knight's coming Bet here. The pawn is weak, the pawns are coming down. So he had to play pawn takes pawn, but this game is hopeless because his pawn is isolated. Partia. Black has a knight file. Uh, yeah, uh, White is not castle. So. Threatening bishop b3. Black has everything. 
Two bishops, powerful so centers, trials. Sve. This king side weakness you know, is impossible to use for one. Now he plays a very modern move, quiet positional move. You know. The rook is doing nothing now, but later maybe. Sada. To break up the center is the only chance. Okay. Uh, it's a nice move. Very nice. Threatening, so check, Divan threatening this and this. A knight here and he this. Ovde. Terrible son. Take it off. Strašna pozicija. On je zato morao da uzme. Uzeo je šah. Now, of course, he could take the knight, but he's not interested. He plays On here. Je... Threatening everything now. Uh. Again, he can take the knight, but he plays here much better. Which knight? knight? Ah, yeah. 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 Threatening this. If the knight moves, he just trades rooks Preti and then trades. So he's trying to get some you know, tactics, but he pushed. He just takes this. And now he's going to lose a rook, become a rook behind. Uh, okay, what a game. Analyzed by the great Fisher himself. Now, as promised, I'm going to show you where Stockfish took issue with the analysis. Most of it was accurate, but I want to go to the spot where Steinitz played e5. This was not the best move. Fisher did not mention any problem with this move, but best a takes b4 and then play e5. What's the problem with playing e5 first? Well, it's the move played in the game, b5, and after bishop to e6, Instead of what Zuckertort played, which was g3, white should play rook to c1. And black only really has a slight edge here. So let's say c6 is played, just as it was after g3 in the game, you're going to play b6 here. Bobby didn't really talk about this. I guess the assumption is that after knight to a6, the c5 pawn is just chronically weak. But Stockfish has a nice way to deal with this, and that is a pawn sacrifice with e3. And after d takes e3, you do not recapture because that would be losing. You play queen to c2, allowing e takes f2 with check. The king takes, white is down a pawn, but look at this knight on a6, cut out of the game. So if black doesn't have a way to win this pawn on c5, then it's not great. The engine's actually suggesting to sack the knight here like this, and then take this pawn on b6. It's giving it as roughly equal. If you try queen to d5 here, threatening e4 looks kind of nice. White actually can win with b7. You're hitting the rook. It has to keep defending this knight on a6. And after rook to a7, we just take it out. Rook takes, and then the rook comes to d1. Look at all this activity that white is getting. Black is actually completely finished here. So that's what Stockfish would have done if facing this attack by Steinitz. So on to the next game. Now we have Bobby Fischer analyzing the infamous opera game by Paul Morphy. Uh, Morphy is white in this game. Yeah. This is a weak move already. You shouldn't move your bishops before you bring out your knights, you know? These were very good rules for beginning players. So the right move was knight d7. Now he must give up his bishop, otherwise if he takes... Well, queen, take no trick. And knight takes pawn. It was not at a tournament, you think, that game? The no, game. no. Most Miraz. of many of his games that uh, were Skittles game, offhand yes. games. Uh, this is interesting. Go. Later on, said he, it was he yeah. to take with the pawn. Yeah. And when he recaptures the pawn, check. And we play this endgame with the two bishops. He gave one variation to support this. He said that if you take take bishop g2, knight c5 to defend the pawn, d4, and take on b7 after the knight move. But of course, it's not forced. Knight but it, this is in typical of Steinitz's ideas, you know. It's a good variation. 
he took with between he's playing um when he was a Carlton the attack it's, it's funny I have a friend you know he's always showing the people this game he says I can show you my game against the Duke of Brunswick he said the game <laughs> I'd have six, the threatening mate, of course, to defend the mate. Uh, it's funny, I played two exhibitions here in Sarajevo, you know? Yeah. And two guys, uh, the first, they played this, both players played exactly the same. They lost Cause exactly it. the same. I thought maybe he was trying to lose the same way. It was like for a joke or something. Uh, I don't know. When you, you I played here... You, you played also? Yeah. Because I was like that. I these weak players, yeah. With these slow players in Sarajevo. And they, they played the same. Yeah, exactly, like, yeah. Right here. It's a very good move if he takes the bishop. I onda sam ja igrao ovdje, lovac g5, ako uzme, onda preti yeah. ovako, lovac f7. And wins. I dobija. Winning initiative. Maybe they, they would like to come into the chess history. Yeah, well, in queen g6. Who played this? These, both these guys. Now, at the rook d1. Ja sam igrao top d1. Made. I couldn't castle, you know, because they're taking bishop check. Mm. I played here. Now it's a forced win if they play knight here. <laughs> and I win a pawn and... I get a pawn and a pawn. And in the end game. So. Ah, but uh, they... They saw that. They saw that. Is... So they played bishop e7. Uh, oba. It was two different games. Yeah, all the same. So yeah, to su bile dve različite partije. I took one f7 check. I took the queen check. The same. Exactly the same. And then uh, I don't even know they played different now. Yeah. Okay, now. Ah, uh, Sada. Uh, you think that Murphy played better than you? <laughs> this game, a whole party. We both won. <laughs> Fischer is a brilliant move. F6. B3. This is already a winning move because he's threatening this pawn and this pawn. No defense to this. But now Black played a clever move because Queen is And now, if he takes on B7, check. On the shock trade queens three. and he can uh, play a, a long time in the lost end game. But Murphy. Ali, Morphy, eh? He wasn't interested in winning such a game, it's not the for the attack. Now Black is in like a Zook Swan position here. He can't develop his knight because the ne pawn is hanging. The ship is blocked by the queen. He played B5. And now he finished a beautiful sacrifice. Now Black is in like a Zook Swan position here. He can't develop his knight because the pawn is hanging. He has to take this first. Must because this knight is pinned. Uh, if he moved the king, uh, he could just take this knight. Akubi. Da li da se tako dogodilo? Rook d8. Because now, he's struggling to take the knight. And he can't, he must lose the queen, because if he takes with the knight, the queen. If he takes with the queen, yes. Ako uzme kraljicom, onda top uzme kraljicom. And if he casts his queen, he gets checked. You learned all these expressions, chess expressions in Yugoslav. Yeah, he takes knight, beautiful. He can't take with the knight because the, the queen. Can't take with the queen because he loses the, the rook. Top him. Now he plays rook here. Now Top it's day. clear he is. He can simply take the knight next and then take the rook with two pawns ahead. He can trade queens here. He take the... and take. Easy winning any. This maybe it should happen in a modern game, you know. So, but Murphy was looking, you know, for the real. Now he's a here. beautiful mate. Okay. Shock. He must take, yes. He must take with the knife. Otherwise, he's ready top. And there was some money. You like this game? Yeah, well, this is a very famous game. Okay, beautiful stuff. Not a whole lot to add to the analysis on this one, except for this one spot here where Steinitz, instead of queen takes f3, as Morphy played, suggested g takes f3. This is actually inferior to Morphy's move. The engine gives d takes e5, the queens come off the board, and the move f4 that Bobby showed is a good move, but the move that Steinitz gave, knight to f6, which loses, is not what black should play. By no means forced, knight to c6 is much better, and then after f takes e5, knight takes e5, the engine gives bishop to e3. It says white's advantage is a little more than a pawn. Maybe winning, I don't know, but Morphy's move was much better. Queen takes f3, 
and after d takes e5. The engine says queen to b3 is best, but bishop c4 seems to be winning as well. So there you have it. Something you may not have thought you would ever see. The legendary Bobby Fischer analyzing chess games. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you want to see all kinds of very interesting chess content. Like this, and I will see you on the next one.